Crabman here from Crabman Gaming, and today we are playing WWF SmackDown Just Bring It Story Mode with Hardcore Holly. Now, the goal of this playthrough is to attempt to win the Intercontinental Championship, which I haven't done on any of the playthroughs so far. So, Vince will always ask you Do you want a tag team title opportunity? In this case, no, you do not want to team up with Crash and challenge for the tag titles. So I don't want to form a tag team. We can't miss war tonight. Here's a raw entrance, we'll skip through here. So Hardcore Holly, obviously in the WWF for a long time, came in as Bob Sparkpug Holly, a race car driver in a very, very interesting, not so interesting gimmick. Sparky Plug, Thurman Plug. Out comes Rock. And then what's going to be pretty interesting here, Rock's going to call out the WWF Champion, which I believe is still Big Show, he's been champ for a while. No one's managed to dethrone him yet. And Hardcore Holly is going to come and interrupt and get into a verbal battle with The Rock, which I would love to see. I think they did have a few matches when it was The Rock and Sock connection and the Holly cousins together, so I think tail end of 99 there might be some matches that feature Hardcore Holly and The Rock don't think they ever had a singles match though Big Show Rock's calling out Big Show The Hardcore One himself, Hardcore Holly, six-time WWF Hardcore Champion. Now what you want to do is talk smack on the microphone, talk trash on the microphone. Don't start thinking you're going to get a title shot before me. Probably Hardcore Holly's most famous... Well, I was going to say match, but it's more the incident people remember where... Uh, he was wrestling Brock Lesnar, and there's a few different stories to whether he sandbagged Lesnar on purpose or it was just an accident. He got dropped on his head, and then at the Royal Rumble, Hardcore Holly did get himself a WWE title shot on a pay-per-view. Rock's got nothing, no retort for Hardcore Holly's verbal jousting. which I assume is going to lead to a singles match between the two later tonight. Yeah, take that, Rock. No one's managed to get the best of Rock in a verbal battle, but Hardcore Holly, he's got the job done. Okay, you want to go downstairs to see Michael Cole? Here he is. There's the Rock's um, custom belt on the merch table behind him as well. Why did you say that to The Rock? You want to say you were just messing. Mr. No-Nonsense Bob Holly. He's also been the tag team champion a few times. A very, very short reign with the 1-2-3 Kid. Um, was also tag champs with Crash Holly for about four or six weeks. I think at the tail end of 99. And then was paired up with Cody Rhodes uh, when Cody Rhodes first came in around 2006. And they held the uh, tag team titles into 2007 before Cody turned on hardcore to team up with Ted DiBiase and form legacy with Randy Orton. And then interestingly, they also had 
Sim Snooker and Manu as well in the stable very briefly. Uh, okay, I think you just want to go straight out for your, your match, really. I think. Or not. Oh, I think you need to go to Regal's office. I thought you immediately went to the match, but you need to go and find Regal here in the commissioner's office. And I think he'll offer you the intercontinental title shot. Here's Regal. Tajiri's gone, maybe to fetch him another cup of tea. His tea's gone cold. Do you want a shot at the European title? Well, not really. I'd like a shot at the intercontinental title. Interesting, interesting indeed. I've seen that some playthroughs you're only offered the a European title shot. Well, let's see what happens if... I'm not really interested. Let's play through and see what happens. Because I know you can challenge for the Intercontinental title and win the title. But what happens if you don't want the title shot? So I think it's the same path, however, I think you have to be a certain caliber of superstar to get offered an intercontinental title shot, but I'm not too sure. So maybe watch one of the playthroughs a little bit later. Maybe we'll try that with somebody a bit later on and see if they can win the intercontinental title. So we're put into a battle royal, Holly Rock Edge Guerrero. Well. Let's put it this way, if I win, I'm gonna see what happens in the story. If I lose, well, that'll probably be the end of Hardcore Holly's story. Holly. What the rock is cooking. Rocking a random four way on Raw. Here comes Edge. So many future world champions in this match. Rock seven time, Edge 11 time. I've forgotten who the fourth partner is. I think it's Eddie Guerrero. One time, but a very memorable reign as the WWE champion. Winning the title from Brock Lesnar at No Way Out 2004 has to be a lot of people's one of their favorite memories in wrestling. I don't think there's there's a fan from that era that doesn't enjoy that match and wasn't thrilled when Eddie won the title. It kind of came out of nowhere. I'll be announcing tonight's event. We can't miss Raw. It was just one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, Eddie's in a title shot, but you know, he's not going to win the title because you know he's not going to. They're not going to. They're not going to make Eddie Guerrero the champion. Tonight, you can feel the electricity in the air. Anything is allowed in the battle. All right, let's take on Eddie here. Now these are usually. Not usually, they always are. They're always elimination matches, which can be a little bit tricky. The key is to try and stay focused on one person, which is easier said than done, and wear them down while uh, another pair goes at it. And your goal is to try and eliminate the superstar you're working with. And then in the other pair, one person should get a finisher, hit their finisher, and then you should be able to finish them off but it's not always as easy because people keep keep switching who they want to target and it can get a bit tricky and there's also no road breaks as well so here we got people going if you can break off into pairs it's not too bad but if you get stuck switching all the time it makes the match really complicated kind of like a probably pretty much like a normal four-way Really pretty chaotic. The we'll be the better kind of not knowing what's coming. Let's move away from these guys a bit. I think Rock is targeted on me, which isn't great. Can stop. And Edge is targeted on Guerrero. You want to try and stick with your superstar because you're wearing them down. And you don't want to waste a finisher. And then have someone kick out. Hugo's going pretty strong here, one of my favorite, oh, as a, I want to say as a kid, but it's a memorable match, but not a highly rated match, but 
Um, one of my favourite Haka Holly matches as a kid was that big 13 man battle royal at WrestleMania 2000. And when I was younger, I, I absolutely loved that match. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. You know, 13 guys hitting each other with weapons. And I watched it a couple of months ago. And it just doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I appreciate the effort everyone goes to. And people are getting hit with weapons. And there's headshots that definitely wouldn't be allowed today. But the, the logic of the match is virtually non-existent when you have a minute left to win the hardcore title and 10 of the guys just stay on the outside brawling with each other with no attempt to get into the ring. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense why you wouldn't get in the ring and try and pin someone or try and pin the champ. I had a little bit of a resurgence on, on ECW. I see a really interesting podcast about hardcore Holly the uh, Something to Wrestle podcast with Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson where they cover Hardcore Holly's career for about two and a half hours and you might think how could they find two and a half hours of Hardcore Holly to talk about and I, I thought it'd be pretty average and you know not that interesting but I listened to them on my drive into work it was actually really interesting there were some really interesting Bob Holly stories Person. Sorry, just had to mute you guys there for a few seconds while I had a bit of a sneeze. Ouch. Don't know where that came from. Yeah, well, I want to try and eliminate Eddie, so I think if I can hit the um, this match be. if I can hit the Alabama Slam on Eddie, that'd be it. Look at the situation now. And then you probably want Rock to do a finisher on Edge, and then out wrestle Rock if you can. I don't believe. Oh, double pin. So now you really want to stay out of the way with Pinned Eddie. It's gone down to the almighty Hardcore Holly. Here's the rock bottom, which I really should be taunting during this. I don't know why I'm not. Get a bit of a finishing meter up. Alright, so Edge is done, so now you're in a one-on-one. -on -one. I find really annoying that you can target the ref. I don't really see what benefit that would have unless you're just trying to take the ref out. But a lot of these matches are... Oh, there's Jericho's move. A lot of these matches... Oh, best drop. Best drop kick in the business. Hardcore Holly. If you're going to have one movie do well, make it the best. Carlito used to have a good drop kick as well. At least I think it did. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. But Hardcore Holly definitely had a good... That could be it for Rock. Here we go. Here's a win. Hardcore Holly has pinned the Rock. What an upset in this fatal four-way. I'm not sure what happens with the story here. Does this continue for the WWF title? I'm not sure because I played that four-way once before and I lost, so that was the end of uh, that was the end of that story. So let's see what happens if you win this four-way. I think it just advances for the WWF title. So yeah, let's let's see what happens. Maybe Hardcore Holly can finally be the WWF champion. That would be pretty awesome. Kind of doing a playthrough with each character. If you haven't figured it out already, here comes Edge. Uh, so just under halfway through now. I'm trying to play a different story mode as much as I can with each of the characters as well. So if you're enjoying this video, which if you're watching a Hardcore Holly story mode video, you're probably pretty interested in wrestling. So check out some of the other story mode videos from Just Bring It and lots of wrestling and things on my channel as well. Look. It's hard to believe, it is hard to believe people are talking about Edge and Hardcore Holly, who is closest to a WWF title shot. I might take Hardcore all away. I'm the only one who deserves a shot at the WWF title. What about Hardcore? I oh, know, that's what about Raven. If you're serious about challenging for the title, come out and face man to man. There's a different story path that happens if you stay backstage. Let's, let's show up on stage.
Why don't you shut that big mouth of yours? Yeah, you tell him, Hardcore. I guess you were pretty serious. I'll show you the difference between me and the, and the number one contendership tonight. I think it's quite elusive to win this, uh, to try and win the Intercontinental title. There's a SmackDown entrance. So you should have a match against Edge, a number one contendership match against Edge. Since I know I can pretty much beat you in any contest, how about I let you choose the match type? You can choose between three match types here. So you got Street Fight, Last Man Standing, and Ultimate Submission, or well, I don't really want Ultimate Submission because I don't have a submission. Uh, Street Fight with Weapons, Last Man Standing. I don't like Last Man Standing. Let's do a Street Fight. They take forever. Yeah, hardcore. She said hardcore match. That's a perfect match for me to show you what a pathetic wrestler you really are. Oh, brutal. Hurt my feelings. Edge, I think you need to be a little bit nicer. All right, number one contender match. Hardcore Holly versus Edge. I'm on the edge of my seat for this one. Weighing 235 pounds from Romeo, Alabama, Hardcore Holly. Now the interesting story that is told on the Hardcore Holly podcast is that he believes that it was supposed to be himself versus Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania in the Battle of the Billionaires. I think he tells the story where he was led to believe it was supposed to be Hardcore Holly in Vince's corner and not Umaga. I'm not really sure where he thought he got that from, but that's quite interesting. Imagine, yeah, Vince, I can pick any wrestler from the roster. Yep, this guy's been here loyally for 10, 12, 15 years, whatever the point was by then. He can be in my corner. He's barely won a match for a decade, but he is going to defend my hair. He might have done a better job than Umaga. He might have kept Vince's hair. Vince will never know. Didn't choose him. Here we go. Let's, if we're having a street fight, let's actually get some weapons. You got the cool camera here. Although, I'm, I don't know if they did this on purpose so you just don't hit people with weapons the whole time or they're just going to get clocked here. Your SmackDown meter doesn't ever fill up very much hitting them with a weapon. I don't know if it does a lot of actual damage to them. They don't seem to, don't seem to, you know, go down any easier if you repeatedly, you know, hit them with a chair or a camera or the steel stairs or put them through a table. Last time I put someone through a table, they were up quicker than me. Let's give it a go. Oh, counter. It's, it's really hard work. Oh, got me. It's really hard work to get someone in the table in the correct spot and then manage to put them through the table as well. It is definitely, definitely more effort than it's worth nine times out of ten. You've got to get them, you've got to get them in the right spot. You can't drag them like, you can't drag grapple them like future SmackDown games. So you, you've got to be in the right spot. Then you've got to hope they don't do a reversal, which they do quite often. You can, um, if you press square, you can throw the weapons though, so that's pretty cool. He's going for the back. So pretty tough here to get Edge on the table. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, here we go, Bulldog. Oh, onto the other table. That was awesome. And tried one of his best drop kicks in the business, didn't work. Edge loves a good taunt. 
Oh, he's gonna get hit with the stairs. Alright. Hardcore Holly, loved by the fans. Taz, you have never said an untrue sentence. That's Vince in the mic. Put Hardcore Holly over, damn it. It's gonna be the number one contender. We love him. Hardcore Holly versus Big Show. It's the dream WrestleMania match. People will be so excited for that main event. Oh, Spear! Spear on Edge used his own move. And then a takedown. Edge is still up. Edge is, Edge is not selling for that Spear. Edge is saying, no way. That doesn't reek of awesomeness. Even if you're going to hit me with the stairs in the corner, just, just throw the stairs at him. Got to hit square a lot in this game. My poor square button has been destroyed on my... PS3 controller, I don't even know if I have another one. Oh no. He's getting better. I had a few, but then a few of them uh, stopped working, so this is the best one I've got left. With a rapidly deteriorating square button. Oh, I missed. Counter, counter, counter. Gee, move over Fire Pro Wrestling. This is the game with the purest counter system in uh, the whole series. All you need to do is have a 50% counter rate and call it technical wrestling. Counter. I think even if you just had like a shot of something every time there was a counter, it. Yeah, you'd be in trouble quickly. Even if it was just a soft drink, I reckon, you'd be. you would be bloated. You'd be getting a sugar rush, a headache. And that's just from three matches. Oh, diving spear. Oh, that's it. No sell it. No sell. That's it, Hardcore. Don't worry about selling. Find some more rookies to beat up on Tough Enough. Went a little bit far. Did want to protect the business, but... Yeah. I think he went a little far. Come on, where's the Alabama Slam? I don't know if he had it yet in this game. I think his finisher is still the Falcon Arrow. Gee, you gotta pay attention here. This is... Actually a pretty competitive match. Oh, it's just down. Let's get a finisher going. Counter. Shot. Take a shot. Shot of coke. Hmm. I want him to sneak a quick win here. Oh, counter. Counter. It's counter time, baby. Counterproductive is what it is to getting these played quick quickly. Oh, pile driver. Yes. And... Annoyingly, there's rope breaks in the singles matches, so let's try a slide, a dive. Didn't work. Hey, he drop kick in the corner. Oh, no. What's he doing? Terrible, terrible hardcore. No wonder you were never the WWF champion. Here we go, Alabama. Oh, there is the Alabama Slam. He does have it. Just stay away from the ropes. And that should be all on to WrestleMania. Hardcore advances. Lost a match. Here is your winner, Hardcore Holly. And the crowd goes mild. No, I met Hardcore Holly once. Actually a really nice guy. Here's Big Show. Whoever decides to challenge me, it won't matter. You can tell I've played this before. This title will always belong to me, The Big Show. Alright, must remember to save. I think it'd be pretty cool if Hardcore Holly ends up as the WWF Champion and then on the other playthroughs they're always calling out Hardcore Holly. A true champion, Mr. Holly has fought his way to the top. A battle-tested warrior who started as Thurman Sparky Plug will finally move out of the new generation era into a battle for the ages at WrestleMania 17. The most dominating forces in the WWF will collide. Sparky Plug, the giant, in for the WWF title. It'll be a historical moment in plummeting by rate history. By rate history. WrestleMania X7, yeah, move over Rock Austin. 
Big Show Hardcore Holly is where it's at. Out he comes for a promo on the biggest show of them all. By WrestleMania 18, he was at WWF New York doing a promo. Wasn't even on the show. It's the Big Show. I think this belt looks damn good on me. Don't you guys think so? Get off, taking up valuable pay-per-view time. Big Show now with his own comedy show on Netflix. I mean, who else thinks they deserve to wear the World Wrestling Federation title? What well, kind of a sitcom, not a, not a comedy show, but a comedy sitcom. Haven't seen it. If you guys have seen it, flick a comment down below. Should I watch it? Should I not? Oh, here comes Vinnie Mac. Hold on, Big Show, before we waste any more time listening to your useless rambling. Let's talk about my interest of a fair match. You want your match to be fair? I like how there's there's no insinuation that this match is not going to be fair. There's no reason Vince will have to come and be the special ref. Oh, last man standing, not again. In the interest of fairness, I myself will be the special ref for this important match. It'll be a last man standing match. And, uh, yeah, there might have been a little problem with, uh, a last man standing match back on one of the other playthroughs. Challenging Big Show. What? Where I was challenging for the title, and it didn't go so well. So I wonder if I can defeat him this time. Maybe I was just a little complacent last time. Oh, Hardcore Holly, I can't believe he's going to be the WWF Champion. The goal was to get the Intercontinental Championship, turn down a Euro title shot, and may go on to win the WWF title at WrestleMania. Pretty good decision to turn down that Euro title shot, really. Weighing 235 pounds from Romeo, Alabama, Hardcore Holly. Here comes the Big Show, the reigning and defending WWF champion. Now, I just had a really big think. And I was trying to remember what match Hardcore he had on WrestleMania 17. And then I remembered, mainly from the podcast, that he wasn't on the show at all. Not even in a dark match. There was no Battle Royal back in those days. It was actually a gimmick Battle Royal, but it was all the old school wrestlers who came out. Uh, no Lumberjack matches, so... I believe Paul Hardcore was there on the roster at the time and just didn't make the show and there was about 14 matches on the show. So pretty disappointing for Paul Hardcore to say thanks for all your hard work. You're on WrestleMania last year in that big battle royal and this year you're not even on the show at all. However, for the benefit of video games we can change history. And he can go from not being on the show to becoming the WWF Champion. That's if he can defeat the Big Show. Let's find a weapon. It's kind of weird, because you pretty much had this exact same match on SmackDown. I mean, you had a, a gimmick match. So yeah, you, you were kind of free to use the weapons, and now you, you, you're kind of just doing that again. Let's see if we can put him through the table. The main event, definitely time to use the... The Spanish announce table. Farewell. Hardcore Holly 
It's fired up for tonight's match. Be cool if you put them through the, the English announce table and the commentary cut out for like a minute while they, they tried to reconnect their headsets. That would that'd be pretty cool. That'd be a nice touch. Alright, come on Big Show. They don't walk into your trap as well. Like they, they probably shouldn't. Where's he going? Let me get him near this table. Let's throw it at him. No cells, the camera. Ouch. Absolutely no cells, the camera. Let's get him on the table. Let's, let's see if I can hit a pile driver or something. Oh, it's a bit too far back. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst trying to put someone to a table. Last man standing did it in one of the other play- Oh, axe handle. Yes, crown him. I did it in one of the other playthroughs. And the, the other wrestler just got up straight away. It's really difficult to do. Here we go. Oh, they and they reverse every time. So when you finally get them in the right spot, all they all they want to do is reverse. All they want to do is reverse your grapple. Because the game definitely doesn't let you grapple too many times in a row. All right, let's just get back in the ring. Let's go get Moppy. Moppy's here in the crowd for reasons I don't understand. Oh, sleeper. Yeah, it could be in danger again in this match. His last man standing match. Come on, Hargoholi. Come on. Don't let this opportunity slide. Big Show's been champ for ages. He's been champ for a lot of playthroughs. It's about time there was a new champion. Oh, powerbomb on the giant. Something Kevin Nash couldn't even do. Watch that clip. That's great. Nash trying to powerbomb Giant in WCW at the end of a 12 minute match a long match for Nash exhausted He's going for the back. couldn't quite get him up there counter Big Show's pretty tough in this game I think Big Show's like this super boss that uh, you know you don't think's really the real boss and it's actually really tough to defeat Hardcore Holland and the Big Show are showing some serious competition oh counter city that's it. Can I hit him with a mop? I haven't even hit him with a mop yet. Running hit. Oh, no. Come on, Vince. Help me out. Face crusher. Spending too long trying to put him through tables and hit him with a mop instead of just hitting him with moves. Oh, the choke. Does the Undertaker's move? The darkness choke. I'm gonna smack down one where you could uh, you could put the moves on at the bottom. I absolutely love that because I could learn the names of all the moves. What? Except some of them weren't correct, but close enough. That's what they were known as forevermore. Thanks to SmackDown One, going the options, turn on you know show move name. That's dumb. I'm sure everyone loves Holly. Come on, Hardcore Holly. Come on. Look, Big Show's actually got a lot of his special meter up here, so gotta be careful. If he gets a finisher, you're done. You're not in a last man standing. You're not getting up. Reverse. Yes. Atomic drop. Come on, hardcore. Come on. Oh, goes for the big Larry he did on May Young. Reverse. 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 Gee, is this WWE or is this Ring of Honor 2004? Is this Brian Daniels and Nigel McGuinness? Title for title. It could be. Is this Joe Punk? Our draw. Is it Joe Kenta Kabashi? It is not. Some fantastic matches from that era. If you can ever dig out the DVDs, if you can find them somewhere, or find them online. Generally can't find Ring of Honor stuff online, but oh gee, Big Show's nearly in that special meter. Should stop reminiscing about mid-2000s Ring of Honor. Concentrate on this match, because if he hits a finisher, I'm done. It's been a long playthrough for no title. Come on, Huckleholly, come on, hit him with a slam. Falcon Arrow, Falcon Arrow will do. That's not work. No. It's so huge. Come on, come on, get up. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, hardcore, get up. Oh, thank goodness, only a four. Hurry. Yes, Alabama Slam. Is this his moment? Hardcore Holly's moment. Ooh, I think it's over. Problem is, if he gets up and hits me with a final cut. Doesn't have a choke slam or the alley oop. This could be an eight, nine. Hardcore it's your destiny. Yes, Hardcore Holly, WWF champion. Unbelievable. He's done it. He's dethroned the big show. World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion, Hardcore Holly. 
yes! So excited. Cannot believe it. Here he is, show him with the title. Hardcore Holly finally wins the World Wrestling Federation title after an intense battle. I couldn't see the rest, I went too quick, I was too excited. What? Oh. Where's the scene with Hardcore Holly with the title? Oh, Smackdown, just bring it. You're so good and so bad in so many ways. All I wanted to see was Sparky with the belt. Oh well, I suppose when someone else challenges him for the title, probably Kurt Angle, we'll get to see him with the title. So if you want to see Hardcore Holly with the title, go to the Kurt Angle playthrough when that's up and watch that. Attention. Let's, I oh, will definitely save it after. Let's see, and you get the credits as well. I'm not playing through this. If you want to see the credits, watch the big show story mode. They go forever. They're not that exciting. And let's see what we unlocked. Hidden. All right, we've just about filled this at the moment. We got moves one for your creator wrestler. We've got moves 15. What's this one? Oh, on move, all the movies in the theater. I thought I already had all the movies in the theater. Hmm. And maybe because you won the WWF title, um, that's how you unlock all the movies, even though I've already done it. And wristbands. Gee, I've never been so excited. All right, to finish you off, the next playthrough is actually going to be for the Women's champion Championship, the first playthrough for that. So Ivory will be challenging. And let's see Hardcore with the title here. Here he is, Hardcore Holly. Just give me the damn belt. I haven't told that story the whole time. I've got an idea. Just give me the damn belt, and then I'll beat everybody. And in this game, he has. All right, Crab Man out. I hope you enjoyed it. See you for the next playthrough.